Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Nuta the Crochet World and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos and today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a blanket. A very lovely cozy blanket and for this particular project I have used my 15 mm of the hook. Here it is. It's 15 mm of the hook and this yarn is a super chunky yarn. Um, this is 100% acrylic yarn and I've explained everything about the yarn into the video so please check out the video and uh, here it is. The pattern is this and this blanket is about 52 inches 132 centimeters wide and it is about uh, 54 centimeters or 138 centimeters long. Now the measurements are approximate so it depends on what kind of yarn you have been using and what hook size you have been using so it's it's actually an approximate uh, measurement also if you want to go ahead and if you want to add up some rows you can always add up some rows and you can have your blanket longer one so it's completely all right i have explained everything into the video and at the end i've made this pom-pom now the size of this pom-pom is nine centimeters i've used a nine centimeter pom-pom maker for this pom-pom and i've attached this pom-pom on all four sides of my this blanket so here it is so let's begin for this particular project i've used my this super bulky yarn and it's here now i've got this one from hobbycraft it is a knit craft it is not a sponsored video i have paid for this uh, yarn and here for this blanket i've used about eight skins of yarn it is about 200 grams it is a super chunky yarn and it is 100 percent acrylic now the recommended hook size is 12 mm but here i've used 15 mm and i was still thinking that it's a little too tight so it's totally up to you you can go even further uh, you can go more than 15 mm you can go for 17 mm 16 mm 18 mm even and that's going to be uh, all right so it's totally up to you the recommended hook size is 12 mm and here it is so let's begin so here it is we're gonna start with a slip knot so just have your yarn and have a slip knot and now we're gonna start with foundation chains now for this blanket i've taken 56 chains because we're going to need about even numbers of uh, chains and then we'll skip one chain and we will start doing our single crochets for our row number one so we are going to have our stitches for e uneven numbers so it's totally up to you whatsoever number of chains you want to have you can have your chains in multiples of two or you can have your chains uh, for even numbers that's the same and for this blanket i've taken 56 chains here i'm not going to go up to 56 chain i'm going to go up to about 10 chains so just have 10 chains here it's one two three four five six seven eight nine and 10 so go to any even numbers i've taken my 56 chains this is 10 chains and now for the row number one we're going to have one single crochet on each chain and for that one i'm going to turn my work so turn your chains and this is the back part of your first chain this is your first chain this is the second chain and i'm going to go to the second chain so skip your first chain and go to the second chain and that will make your stitches for uneven numbers so here it is uh, this is your first stitch go to the second one grab a yarn and have one single crochet so because i have 10 chains here uh, i'm gonna have nine single crochets here So here it is after my round number one it looks like this and i got my nine single crochets here and remember my number of stitches are uneven and now for our round number two we're going to start building up a pattern so for that just have chain one and turn your work now skip your this chain and go to this first stitch and here into this first stitch we're going to have 
one single crochet and one double crochet so yarn over insert your hook into that same stitch and grab a yarn yarn over pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops so one single crochet and one double crochet and now we're going to skip our next stitch so skip your this next stitch and into the stitch after that have two stitches it's one single crochet and one double crochet again skip your this next stitch and into the stitch after that have one single crochet and one double crochet Again, we're going to skip over this next stitch and into the stitch after that have one single crochet and one double crochet. Here it is. We are here. And now we got over this last two stitches. Now here we're going to skip over this next stitch and into this last stitch we're going to have only one single crochet. So remember into this last stitch have only one stitch and that is your one single crochet. it is and this is the end of our row number two now for your row number three chain one and turn your work now skip your this chain go to this first stitch this is your first stitch and we are going to repeat our row number two here so again for your row number three insert your hook into this first stitch grab yarn and here we're going to have two stitches so it's one single crochet and one double crochet Again, skip your this next stitch and into the stitch after that have one single crochet and one double crochet. Here it is. Again, skip your this next stitch and into the stitch after that have one single crochet and one double crochet. And keep on repeating this pattern until the end of this row so again we're going to skip over this next stitch and into the stitch after that we're going to have one single crochet and one double crochet skip your next stitch and into the stitch after that have one single crochet only because this is our last stitch so we're going to have only one stitch here one single crochet and here it is it looks like this and again we're going to repeat our round number two for the next row so chain one turn your work this is your chain one so skip your this chain one go to this first stitch and again repeat your pattern so again into this first stitch we're going to have two stitches it's one single crochet and one double crochet and skip your this next stitch and into the stitch after that you're going to have one single crochet and one double crochet and keep on repeating this pattern until your desired length for my blankets i've taken 56 chains and i skip one chain and for my round number one i had one single crochet on each chain so i got my 55 stitches so that is uneven numbers of stitches and then from row number two i started building my pattern so one single crochet and one double crochet into one stitch and then skip your next stitch and into your third stitch have one single crochet and one double crochet and here it is now you can go up to your required length i'm gonna go up to my row number 40 and my last row will be again one single crochet on each stitch so here after finishing your um last row see for an example this second row is your last row i'm gonna have this chain one will turn my work and here on my first stitch i'm gonna have one single crochet and i will go to this next stitch and i'm gonna have one single crochet and i'm gonna go to this next stitch and i'm gonna have one single crochet so for your last row all the way until end of your work have one single crochet on each stitch whatsoever number of stitches you have been working on and you're gonna have exact number of stitches and that's it so that's going to be the end of your blankets and we're going to have pom-poms so for the pom-pom this one is uh the pom-pom maker i've used this one is for nine centimeter pom-pom maker and 
for the pom pom i've used my this 100 percent acrylic yarn now this one is a normal thread is a normal dk yarn it's a um, it's 100 percent acrylic yarn you can choose any yarn you want now for the pom pom i've used another 200 grams of uh, this yarn so i'm gonna use this yarn for my pom pom but again if you want to use a chunky yarn you can always use a chunky yarn here i'm just gonna change the yarn this one is a normal dk 100 percent acrylic yarn and this one is um not that thick this one is just the normal one about 4 mm hook is required for this one here it is and here just heavier this pom pom maker and put your yarn around your this pom pom maker like this Keep on having your this yarn around your this pom pom maker and it's gonna take a while but the look is gonna be great so just keep on having your yarn around your this pom pom maker hit this and now just cut your yarn and secure your this yarn so that it will not move here and we're gonna do exactly the same for this other side here have your yarn and just put your yarn around your this pom pom makers again on this other side and here it is i've got this yarn and again gonna Secure my yarn just like that, and now put your these two parts together of this pom pom. Close this one. Here it is. Close this, and have your this scissors and cut. Again, go to this next side and here, cut your yarn. Here it is. And now have one longer piece of yarn and just have your this yarn around your this pom pom maker in between these two pom pom makers like this. And make sure it's tight enough. Have a knot. Now you can have a couple of knots here to secure your this pom-pom tighten up your work here it is again i'm gonna have another knot here here it is it's nice and secure now you can open up your this pom-pom makers here. here it is it's done and now trim your this pom pom so whatever uh, this longer strain of yarn you can see just trim them up give them a shape and yeah your pom pom is ready So here it is have any corner we're gonna have our pom-poms on every corner so we're gonna have four pom-poms here like that so just have one pom-pom and i'm gonna use a smaller hook here and here just simply grab one yeah of my this pom-pom and i will have a knot here i'm gonna have a couple of knots here and i'm gonna tightly secure my this Pom pom, if you can see from here, tightly secure your this pom pom here at the corner, and here we're gonna hide over this yarn. So just insert your this yarn like this and hide them inside. Yeah. 
so you can hide them inside and keep on hiding it and I'm gonna meet you after that so repeat this pattern for all your four pom-poms all four uh, corners and I'm gonna meet you after that so here it is your pom-pom is nicely attached there is no flaws in the pattern and it looks like this and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have liked please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye